Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. Is this thing on? I need to hurry up because I have so much information to share with you. I don't even know if I'll make it in time. I have 10 minutes to do it. Let's go. First of all, smash the thumbs up, okay? Subscribe, notification bell. Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. Let's go. All right. I just want to, you know what? I, I just have to do this for you. I have to show you the chart first before I go into bearable guy, before I go into the coloring book. Okay. I got to show you this chart. All right. Because, okay, you guys have to realize this is probably the lowest we'll ever see XRP again. And we know XRP has probably the most use case of any of the cryptocurrencies. And guess what? There's 4,000 cryptocurrencies. XRP has a number one use case, okay? The financial system is changing, guys. All right, so check this chart out. Every time we dip, we shoot up. 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 We dip, shoot up. Dip a little, shoot up. Dip a little, shoot up. Okay? This was very, this was big back then. This was huge. Okay. Now this is big. Okay. This is so small now. This is huge. This is going to be small again. Okay. This is going to be small just like this. Just like this. This is going to look like this, you guys. Get in now while you can before we break out of this descending, this, this triangle formation. Every down slant we have we shoot up every downward slant we have we shoot up this is the last chance this is not financial advice this is just education I'm educating you guys on how I'm gonna be rich hopefully you can follow my example okay this is against Bitcoin same dealio every time it goes down it shoots up every time now we're in a big look at this big triangle all these different lines they all come together around here right where we're at this is your last chance. All right, let's get going. Okay, variable guy. This is one of the best. This is the most exciting uh, video I've probably ever made. All right. Um, besides when the the coloring book came out. All right, but this is about the coloring book. This is about variable guy. The connections are just getting more and more obvious. Here we go. Okay. All right. So the new, uh, the one, the, the third hexadecimal uh, cipher. It turned out to be eyes open, okay? Eyes open, we've kind of, the community's kind of come together and it seems like it's probably talking about the song by Taylor Swift and the reason being um, Swift, okay? So they're telling us Swift, 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 eyes open, Swift, keep your eyes open, eyes open, Swift, okay? Something's happening with Swift, all right? Now, the newest cipher on the background of Bearable Guy 123 is a heart. Okay, it has a heart on it. Okay, the only other heart I've seen Bearable Guy do, I'm not sure, tell me if I'm wrong, but is this heart in one of his past puzzles and it says 14 on it. Just keep an eye out today. Today is the 14th of May. May is a big month. We'll see what, if something happens, then we'll know that this is all legit. We already know it's legit. Okay, but that'll just cement it, you know? um where's that puzzle where is it where is it i'll just use this one for i'll just use this one so he's covering the fifth tooth but only half of it okay we're halfway into may the fifth tooth is may okay he's only covering half of it though half of it's dark half of it's light okay now when we talk about swift here's swift okay now the box okay there's a box next to it there's a green arrow shooting out Okay, there's a little cloud or a thought bubble. I think it represents both. Okay, thinking outside the box. We're we're thinking outside the box. We're gonna start thinking. Cryptocurrency in general is something that is being th is thinking outside the box. Okay, all right. Now also it's a cloud. Okay, now let's go over here. Okay, cloud, cloud, cloud. Well, first of all, I I typed in W I F because that was the those were the three letters. In Swift on that puzzle you guys saw W I F okay searched it and it came up Windows Identity Find Foundation okay also I saw this world investment investment forum I didn't look into that because I, 
I saw this one first, and I, I know Windows has ties to, to Ripple. Okay, so I actually typed in on the Windows website STEM, okay, because of the coloring book. Okay, the coloring book, all the proceeds are going to STEM. All the proceeds, 100%, okay? They're not looking for any profit from this. This isn't just some random person, okay, putting it out, you know. This is a legit organization, okay? STEM has ties to Microsoft, all right? And what's what does this mean anyways? 100%. What does all this mean? I don't know, but it doesn't might not mean anything. But I did type it in, and guess what I found on the main page when I typed in STEM? Think Taylor. That is an obvious clue. Think Taylor Swift. Swift is the, the word we need to focus on. Swift, Swift, Swift. Wait for some kind of big announcement with Swift, okay? Buy in that. Buy in that XRP now, okay? If you've been holding off, this is the time to buy. It's never going to get lower. Okay? All right? Now, because Microsoft, Microsoft. Oh, okay. Well, fine. I, I went here. Do you remember this? The Ripple Riddler? Okay. This is the most exciting thing. Check it out on Amazon. About the author, Satoshi Nakamoto. Who does that look like? Who does it look like? Ripple Riddler. Okay. That kind of looks like Vitalik, by the way. Now, who is that? Brad Garlinghouse. Guys, it looks just like Brad Garlinghouse. And they just put this up, you guys. I don't think anyone's realized this. Okay. He is donating 100% of book royalties to STEM. Okay. Microsoft, STEM. Um, okay. Stem, stem, stem. Um, the, the one clue was, uh, what was it called? Uh, something 2019. Um, Lewis and Clark. Clark 2019. Okay. All right. So he says this about his new books. The books speak for themselves. I hope they enlighten the curious and make the enlightened even more curious. Nice. All right. Brad Garlinghouse, it's saying that that looks just like Brad Garlinghouse, and it, the similarities are too much, okay? They're all there, okay? The Ripple Riddler, we kind of forgot about him, didn't we? But he was saying something, and now Satoshi Nakamoto, the Matrix background, it looks just like Brad Garlinghouse. Looks just like him, you guys, okay? Um, is that all? I think I think I got through it. I think that's all I needed to get through. Well, I'm trying to find that picture. I downloaded it uh, so you can see it even closer. That's all right. All right. So you guys, um, did I get through everything? I'm telling you, this is the last chance, you guys. The last chance. We're about to explode up higher than ever before, you guys. <laughs> It's very exciting times right now, okay? If you've been holding off, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay? Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. All right, you guys? Because I want to show you. Look, let's look in while I have a minute or two. Okay. We had that big explosion. Okay? We hit the top of this. We just hit this in this thing right here. We just hit this up. Uh, crossroads between these two trend lines okay now we might but we're we're in a bullish formation right now okay come on come on we're in a bullish formation yep down okay we broke out of that but i think we're gonna hit this trend line again and it's widening. We're going to probably just pop up from here. We're probably going to pop up from here. We'll see. All right, guys. Um, I hope I got everything in. I had a lot to cover. Hope you guys see some insight out of this. Okay. Comment in the comment section what you think and any other stuff that you, that you have observed. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Crypto Mike out.